Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Hope that this day has brought you to sunshine and that I am with. Actually, today I have changed my scene and I am at a beautiful place. It's a beautiful garden at the Glendale Advent uh, the Adventist Health Hospital where I am supposed to go to a board meeting and I thought instead of being in my room I'm going to take advantage of this beautiful place I will show you in a moment hi Patricia and uh, hello Sylvia how are you I thought what a beautiful thing the Sun is up and we're in California it's in the middle of winter and what a beautiful thing to do you know, being here, I thought of today's message to be about faith. And you would think, what does hypnotherapy and faith have to do with one another? Well, I believe everything in our life is connected with hope and faith. So what is faith? Faith is the absence of the things that we hoped for, but we don't see the evidence right it is a great day hi Adrian so I believe that is what faith is we have faith in our heart and we believe in something so today's garden is absolutely beautiful and so apropos and I will show you in a moment but I want to know uh, especially Sylvia you having so much faith in your life with all the trauma that has happened in your life and yes it's a new year and may God bless his soul your son it takes a lot of faith to know that what you believe in in your heart that justice will be uh, served that uh, what you have dreams and aspirations about so I think faith is about possibilities, not the things, not the things that we can, not the things that we will, but possibilities. And that's what hypnotherapy is. You know, we delve into our subconscious mind when we go into hypnosis is this deep state of relaxation. And when clients come to me for wanting to make a change in their life, there is no guarantee. So if anyone in their life guarantees you anything, I'm in the hospital, even doctors do not guarantee a cure. But they say, have faith, have faith, right? Have faith in possibilities have faith in keeping the positive and just moving forward and saying yes it is possible for me to heal yes it is possible for me to uh, thrive it is possible for me to make that change it is possible for me to leave that addiction because what is addiction it's I think in a way it's a lack of connection so for those who not necessarily addiction but the habits that we keep when it's a negative and it's doing us no good anymore right it's because we haven't found a better connection that something feeds us with more love with more joy with more health and that's what I do I help my clients not only boost their faith but, but know that they can change and we find the alternative instead of the negative habits, something better. Hi Nella John, how are you? Adrian, what is it that you're saying? Staying positive, the things will work if you really want it. We have really be there. Yes, staying positive. So what is it that they say? Um, if you have faith a small 
as a mustard seed, you can accomplish many things, right? I think it's also in the Bible. Uh, the seeds in the mustard, uh, it's all about what we do with those seeds and having faith is that. Faith in a way is like a muscle, we build it. We strengthen our faith when we say, I want to accomplish this. Yes, I hope so, but hope is beautiful. But when we add hate, faith to hope, then possibilities become tremendous. And that gives us the boost. It's the seeds in the mustard that when we add water, it grows. It grows and it becomes this beautiful flower, right? Look, this beautiful plant. And let me shift this, um, this beautiful plant right here. And if I shift right behind me, look, yeah. I am sitting at a place, it's called the Jesus Garden. And I will give you a tour of this little insy place. But in this little, little insy place, why is it that they have, excuse me, I'm doing this adjustment, bear with me, yes. Hi Raul, this beautiful garden in a hospital where people come because of ailment, because they are sick, because pain when it hits is knocking on the door and saying there's something wrong go and fix it right when we have habits that no longer benefit us and uh, we want to make that change and transform that's where heal within comes truly heal within is where transformation begins when we tap within ourselves and with faith, with techniques, with tools, anything is possible. So when, when people come to the hospital, they have faith in their doctor, in the administration, in everyone that supports them, this team in this environment. When people come to heal within, they have faith that I can help them and with my tools and techniques and their trust and faith, possibilities are endless. Hmm. Food for thought. So there's also another saying. It says, 10% is what happens to you. 20% is what happens for you. And I say, 70% is what you do with what you know and how you react to it, how you take it and how you plant your garden, how you water your garden, how you benefit and you react to what it is that happens to you either pain, either habits, either behaviors, things that happen to us. It's not always happening to us, but happening for us. So I love to be faithful. As a matter of fact, today my newsletter that went out, my blog is all about being ready, being excited and saying yes, yes to you, yes to the changes that you want to make and having adding that little seeds of faith and knowing that the possibilities is right at the palm of your hand right at the palm of your hand we open the palm of our hand and we put the seeds and even birds can come eat it from here we open our hand and the palm and as we extend our hand, we extend a hand to help someone. So that's what Heal Within does. I extend my hand to hold yours, to show you possibilities, to show you tools and techniques. Because I believe in you and I believe that you do have a choice where you want to be and how you want to get there. As a matter of fact, you have the choice that today you add the seeds of faith and possibilities and you say yes to you. 
So come this month, sign up to my Heal Within page. I will have the links and everything right after this. You can find me not only here live, Tuesdays at noon, but you can also find the replay to this. By the way, if this is, if you're on, yes, I see all of you. Thank you. Just say yes. I am watching it live. Just put live or just put number one. If you are here as a replay, just put, put down replay or number two. So I respond to all my comments. I do. If there is any question you have that is more private, by all means, message me. If there is anything, I take all my calls and I respond to my calls. Call me, message me, comment over here, and I will be more than happy to respond. So, after today, not only I'm here, but weeks from now, you can find me on my YouTube. You can find all the information on my blog, on my website, which is www.healwithin.com. Also, starting January, we're bringing you so much, so much value, so much benefits. I've got an ebook that I'm going to download and give it to you just because I want you to have the tools and techniques, even if you don't come to my office, so that you can do it on your own. This is the year and the Chinese New Year, it's gonna be the lunar, lunar New Year, and it's the year of the peg, which is prosperity, fortune, wisdom. So let's do this, let's do this together. Thank you, Sylvia, thank you, number one. Hi, Armen, number one, yes! I love you all, number ones. And yes, I also love all the replays, so add some seeds, of fate. My name is Lisa Bubari. Starting January, we're bringing meetup groups, mindfulness workshops. I am giving you ebook next week and there is so much more. So, I am bringing you everything to help you elevate yourself. You see, in my newsletter last week, I asked Come up with one word for the year or for however long you want. So this year I chose elevate. I, that's my word. I am elevating my office. I am elevating my attitude. I am elevating you and I will show up and stand up to help you elevate to the places that you want to be and the things you want to achieve. Have faith in you and trust in tools, techniques that I give you. And I always say, we trust above and may the universal light always be surrounding you, protecting you, and shielding you. So, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn around, <coughs> take this phone out of here and show you just a little of where I am and let me turn this around and show you this beautiful garden isn't that beautiful and it's not that we all have to believe in Jesus it's not about that it's just, I love the statue over here and a place underneath this gazebo. Of course, I am at Adventist Health, <coughs> which believes in this faith. But look at this. This is why I chose this place. It's the hug, it's the giving, it's opening her arms to extend love and a flower to the little garden. And this is why I chose this place because it speaks volumes for me, for my nonprofit, which is opening your hearts, expanding your mind and transforming, li transforming lives, right? 
And then there's this beautiful doggy. And look at that. Isn't this the most precious thing? Yes. And then there's another mother and son coming. So I look at this beautiful garden and I say, may all of us be in a place where we have faith in our heart and a place that we can go either for mindfulness, for prayer, or just a place that we can tap within ourselves so that we can heal, so that we can heal our pain, we can heal um, our anything that we want. Underneath anger is hurt, underneath pain it's pay attention to me. So today, hi Rubik John, hi Sanaz. Today, today's message was all about having faith and stay with faith and believe in yourself. So again, I wish you the best. I'm getting emotional and I don't know if it's the new year, if it is this garden. It's just a beautiful place to come here and just be at peace and know that you are always surrounded with watchful eyes and protectiveness. So, Sylvia, Ruby, Sanaz, Adrian, all of you, thank you for being present and being live. And for those of you watching replay today's message, please watch it. If there is anything, I can extend my hand to help you by all means. I will be downloading for you an ebook with techniques and tools. And anytime if you're in the LA area, please stop by and sign in with Heal Within, go to my website, log in, receive our newsletters. So much value coming to you. We're going to be rocking this year out of here. Fortune, wisdom, gratitude, and faith. Until next week, I wish you all the best. God bless you and may the universal light be with you. It's time to evoke, embrace, evolve. This is Lisa. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Sylvia. God bless you, Nella John. I look forward to seeing you soon in person and bye for now.